Cash. Previously on the battle for cash. Why tree planting? You are talking about 5 billion shillings. There is no way I'm going to buy that. Who among your members is a subject matter expert? Battle for Cash, Season 2. 20 DFCU investment clubs showed up ready to compete, but only 16 were able to convince the judges. Others saw their dreams shattered. Tonight, the real battle for cash begins, and with it comes twists, turns, and strategies. This is going to be a roller coaster ride for these 16 remaining investment clubs. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. You. Yes, you are the top 16 teams in the country. You are the ones on DFCU's battle for cash. You know, because you're here, it gets harder as you go. I think you know that. You're the top 16 teams and one of the teams could walk away with 30 million shillings. There's 25 million shillings. There's cash prizes. There's a study tour to Nairobi. There's a whole year of advisory services from PricewaterhouseCoopers. So I'm Flavia Tumsime. You will see me at the start and at the end of each task. What I have here is envelopes. Each week, you'll be given a task. Now, that task should be easy depending on how hard you work and how smart you work. You must showcase your leadership skills, communication skills, um, your business acumen, because at the end of the day, you're investment clubs. You must make money, right? So depending on each task, you must figure out how to work together. Since this is the first task, I'll ask you to group yourselves into teams. I'll explain in a bit. But first, remember that each week, each task, I want you to remember two things. One, that you win as a team, but you accumulate points for your individual investment club, which means if you're going to wait for people to work hard, your team will lose out on money. So you need to work for each team that you have. You win as a team, but you get points as an individual investment club, depending on how much work you have put in. I would like these teams to come with your members. The first is Hakuna Mchezo. There you go, just right there. I would like Agri Invest, right there. Mvara Ward. And lastly, Kawempe, Police Women. Is it Police Women, Women Police? <laughs> Whichever, are you alone? She's on the way. Time is very key in this challenge, time. So you are the four teams that have the privilege and honor of picking your teammates. And remember, you, you go through it all. You pick a name, you work together, and you work hard. The instructions in these envelopes, which have your first task, please read these instructions carefully. There's a start time, there's a stop time, there's a task, there's how you should execute, and there's the result that is needed. So that when you face the judges, you at least have something concrete to show to the judges. So, when you get this envelope, by the way, you cannot open it until the training is done. So when you get your envelopes, you go get training, then you can open your envelopes. So I want to ask from the first team to pick your first, 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 second, until you each have three teams with you. Go. Does anyone want to change and go to another team? So you're all good. You will have a moment to brainstorm. That uh, the fastest team to give me a leader was Joseph's team. And the last team, even after begging, was Margaret's team. So first I love Joseph. What, what, what was the secret? Please come. Okay. What was the secret in having you very quickly as a leader? Okay, uh, the team quickly identified and mm -hmm. said, uh, the present, I mean, we we need somebody mm. who can give us guidance, okay, and then somebody maybe who could present. Oh, okay, so you have good communication skills, exactly. Okay, okay, yes. so 
they picked me very quickly and said this one can guide us okay uh, let's see as it unfolds thank okay, you thank you all right joseph margaret uh, to get on <laughs> margaret you can so Passosinebe <laughs> Envelope yamu yu ni jibatu wali. Kale. Can pick your envelopes? Teams. Ladies first. Eh? <laughs> Joseph. Thank you. So those are your envelopes. You do not open them now. So you're going in for a training. The training will happen to guide you before you head out and of course continue your task. Now when you're going out there, you have the viewer. Our camera team, our cameramen are actually the eyes and ears. They will follow you. So please don't get uncomfortable with them. In fact, if anything, get comfortable with them. And good luck. See you at the pit stop. The 16 investment clubs have been divided into four teams. Team CAMS 2018 comprises of Cape of Good Hope, Alpha and Omega, the Great Herbal Medicine, Mvara, Skills Development Team Power has Kina Sako Akuna Mchezo Iolula Farmers and Magezi Kukola Battle for Cash Season 2 is an elimination challenge Each week the judges will set a task for the teams to complete At the end of each task one of the clubs will be eliminated So as the teams fight to complete the task the clubs will battle to stay in the race. The first task in the battle for cash is to make money without money. But the teams must first be armed with knowledge in order to have a head start. How do we make money without money? What else do we have other than money in this room? Many people think that you must have money to accomplish a particular task. The first thing is that I see is that you will need to have high intention you need to have high intention that you know what? I am buyer with the money or no money we are going to make money. The other thing you also have to give it sincere effort. Eh? Some of you can say I want to actually make money but you wake up in the morning and all you're doing is stay seated. And you're not giving it extra effort to make that call of a product that you're going to sell someone or an idea that you want to get to sell someone. You need to have, give it sincere effort. But then above all you need to have intelligent direction, isn't it? Eh? Your execution has to be skillful and timely. Having completed the training, comes 2018 and Team Power face off in a race against time. Your first task is there for to make money without money. The team which makes the most money out of nothing wins. Good luck and stay safe. Vicky of Mvarawad will lead CAMS 2018. Our task today is making money without money. While Margaret will lead Team Power. This is the OHV Nature Power Group. The two are good to social and money move on now. We are calling money move on now. Gabo Chisoboka. The two teams strategize on how to maximize the five hours before check-in time to make as much money as they can. So they want to test our originality. Yes. We are supposed to start from scratch. We're in a team, how are we going to work? Do we divide ourselves to do the same? No, we, we, let's first of all identify, identify what, what are can the we do. Let me say if the food is three five, each plate you stake, they can pay you like 500 for transportation. Like we, when we look at uh, empty bottles, scraps, Scraps. If we can go and pick them very fast, we know where these people are. We go to the factory. We go to the factory, we take them, they buy. We don't know how much we do. Uh, so basically, there are two items we are looking at here. Yeah. <coughs> Collecting Empty water bottles mm. and also scraps. Scraps. Scrap metals. Mm. But one key thing is we are supposed to know who to sell them to. Will it be hawking food for commission or selling merchandise? Team CAMS 
noticed that their strategy is flawed. They quickly change tactics and distribute roles. Margaret, the team leader of Power Team, starts off the day by giving her team members a pep talk. Confident that they have the winning formula, Team Camps 2018 head out. Uh, our strategy now is we are going to wash cars. Be in charge of bookkeeping. Yes. Then there are those who are supposed to be in charge of what? The actual washing actual of the vehicles. Yes. Of the vehicles. Yes. And then two, we should also set targets of the day. We don't you do not have money, but no. all we have is manpower. Yes, we have, uh, we have manpower. Yeah, we have manpower here. So, we can uh, do the work. What do you think is a subsidized price with car washing? Car washing, on average, if you charge, for example, 10,000 for that TX. Mm. That is a little bit high. On average. Okay, let's say uh, 5,000 for that TX. Okay. We'll be able to wash now you're at, talking. at slightly lower. <laughs> 1,500 or 4,000. Okay. That's extra money for you, 1,000. I would be saving 1,000. Exactly. And I'll start from there. If there are three vehicles, that is breakfast, okay? That's breakfast. <laughs> so uh, basically, that's what we have on the table. And uh, I don't know what you think about it. I think your rates are good. Yeah. If you offer me 4,000, I pay these guys 7,000. Yeah. So if you offer me, you give me an offer of 4,000, I think it's okay. Sure. I believe that's good. Yeah, it's good business. And okay. You can start with this one. Okay. That one is mine. You can start right away. Okay. okay. Mm. Thank you. Before embarking on their work, they take a few minutes to pray, but the circle is not complete. We thank you that we are here to invest, mm. and we have been given opportunity by this uh, owner of the of the of the company. Yes. We pray that Lord, you give us strength to do this work, Amen. and you give us the grace to do it successfully, Amen. and you open more doors for us. Be with us now and forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. After that prayer, shirts and trousers are folded, and comes 2018 get down and dirty. Let's go. Oh. It's possible if you want hard on it. We appreciated the challenge that was given to us by the judges and we sat as a team and we decided that the easiest venture you can get into and make very quick money is car washing because with car washing many a times it is cash after the service. Many people do not incur credit while doing the business of car washing. That's why we opted that the only easiest way we can make money quickly without having money is to offer our services because if you do not have money but we have the service, we have the resource, like the human resource. What I find challenging with car washing is basically the element of getting clients to come and wash because it takes another extra mile for you to convince someone to bring this car to you for washing. And most especially with this challenge, we are being looked at as people who have never done this kind of event. So many are giving us that benefit of doubt, this lack of trust for us to do the washing. However, having washed two cars and they were neat, many are now coming over. The two that we wash are recommending their friends to come over and wash. It always washes it at about, uh, it says 50,000. But uh, I was able to convince him uh, to wash uh, this at a subsidized amount. So he's paying us up to a chill of 45,000. So that contributes a lot to our target of 500,000. So as you can see, still a whole lot of work left, but uh, I hope for the best. This task has proven to be an uphill task for Alfred Okidi, but the rest of the team is working hard 
and fast. I'm like the idea of waking up in the morning okay. and all you have is your energy, <laughs> then you hit the ground, boom, exactly. then you can find work. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Team Power's first destination is a car garage. We are talking about. We are going to go to the car. 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 Margaret is a smooth talker and has been able to convince the attendant that they will sweep the place clean. Battle for cash. Battle for cash. Both teams are hard at work making money without money and they all decide to offer services in exchange for money. Some members of Team Power even attempted being car mechanics. Sibasi <laughs> Kabuyoyowalistede. Opera wako kama ungaro nevi lala. Tutereseyo. Fire tuwe ganya mimi mu. Mazee kola. Tukula mazi. Badu fudi la mazi. Fire tuwe na sere. Badu fudi la mazi. Badu fudi la mazi. Badu fudi la mazi. Badu fudi la mazi. The car garage manager spots for the team another work opportunity at the nearby car washing bay. We are going to clean the area so that we can make some money from this area. Thank you so much. In the same car washing bay, Margaret finds a local restaurant and washes utensils.
Twitter you can count for us. Both Team Comes 2018 and Team Power have made it back in time. Our initial um, business venture that we developed was uh, in uh, uh, car washing. We identified uh, uh, a parking in, in Buganda Road where we thought uh, being a parking with uh, you know, all the, the vehicles that uh, parked there, we could you know, bring an extra service of washing which was, uh, we thought was a good venture and we got, you know, we, 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 we earned quite an amount. Despite all what we were doing, there were challenges we were facing. Of course, in the due course, we had traffic jam. Of course, we were working against the time. There was traffic jam on our way. Uh, the, the, the task was not easy, but at least it gave me an experience to know that you can really make money without money. Power. Power. Uh, welcome back, guys. I'm Rod Mnyaneza, I was a member and I was a secretary for today's task. I would like to welcome you all from the battle, that, from the task that we had today. Uh, it was indeed a challenge, it was a task. We hoped it would be somehow simple, but we got some challenges and we got some success. We started, uh, we started somehow fair, because the task we, sta we started on, we started with washing cars, cleaning some gar garages, and we, we, were, we were getting some little money. But when we, we revised our methods, we decided to go to Natete where we found the millers. There are so many milling stations there where we went and we got some good money from the cleaning. It was really hard. So you were the first team to come back? Yeah. Because there was nothing to do or because you did so well? <laughs> For us, we are time conscious. Okay. Yes. Yes. So when they told you to make money without money, what did you first talk about as a team? Um, immediately when we read, the, we opened the envelope, we had ideas. First of all, we said we should go for car washing. Car washing. Then we mm. again said we should go for restaurant cleaning. We should go for scraps and plastic. Uh, plastic bottles and so we go and sell mm -hmm. and lastly we said uh, we should go for uh, loading loading a, a park we wanted ah. to do loading did you try it no oh, okay. this, these were the options there were options yes which of the options did you end up the with the best one was it car washing car washing yes even you washed cars very much really i did it <laughs> It was so interesting. Really? Really. Have you ever washed a car before? No. So where did this skill come ah, from? Because I real, I realized that to make money out of nothing, I have to do something. Something. Yes. That's good. To yeah. make money out of nothing, you must do something. Yes. We have to tweet that. Yes. <laughs> Are you on Twitter? No. Uh, because now we have to get you on. So uh, who was the strongest person on your team? All of us. Ah, Everybody was. must stop lying. Who did the best? Everybody was active. I think the camera people could show to you. you just <laughs> the look. eyes and ears. Yes, before. it will okay. be and hard. We will see that. Yeah. So what happened to the envelope? The envelope? Mm. Yeah. We read. We The for, money. You didn't make money? We made money. So where is it? The money is here. My treasurer. We, hey, you even have a treasurer. Serious. Ha. My treasurer, can you give me money? Treasurer. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> So what other roles do you have? You have treasurer, you have spokesperson. Uh, we have uh, somebody who goes out mobilizing. Mobilizer, yes. treasurer, yes. chairperson. Chairperson, <laughs> things were moving. Eh, eh, comes 2018. <laughs> Let me see. I'll keep for you this. The judges, you'll meet them. Okay. I'll give this to the judges. Please, thank you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Councillor Margaret, why did you? My team was sent by to Uka. I would have walked out today. Niabo, a million media to cause the judge to let it do. Kuruwa, Naya, tenga to to send both the when you need. The bad day will I eat that you can start. Okay. Ida to to dinner to go. Ne to mula bulungi. Ba wa deva game ukolemu. Ba tu gambi wano tu gende tu kolese sent. Ati tu tadi mu sent. Okay. 
You make money, money without money. Yes. Mm. Era to bad the team work. Bad the noon jinyo. To bad what the mulimu. Bad to say ne bad to wo mulimu. Wa bad the wo kanika. Wa bad the wo kuere bisani ko. Wa bad the wo kuera wo fishi. Erenge yo ziba the wo muchala na atu kiris. Anya sinzo kuta wanyamba atu ban. Aba atu ban. Nabuli omo bad the mulimu. Hmm. Hmm. Te bad the wanyiza ko na akam. Power. 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 Yeah, yeah, power. Yeah, power. Team power. Yeah. Okay. Team. Power team. Okay. Yeah. Need the banana. Need power team. We will let Mujak sang about judges. You can go. <laughs> this season on the battle for cash, you too can be a winner. This is how. Do you have a product or business that you are working on? Pitch that idea in a 30 second video and send the video to this WhatsApp number. The top three pitches will be posted on the DFCU social media pages for people to vote. The winner will get 400,000 shillings. This money will be wired to the winner's DFCU bank accounts. Battle for Cash. for cash it's post-mortem time team power and team cams 2018 are the first to face the judges the judges are Ann Chohaire Mohanji Michael Mwesigwa plus guest judges Pamela Nantamba and Ronald Edward Mukasa Pamela is a tax partner at PwC with over 14 years experience in tax consulting and advisory services both in Uganda and in the UK. She has provided advisory services to a number of multinational clients in a broad range of industries including oil and gas, banking, insurance, telecommunications, manufacturing, energy and utilities. Ronald Edward Mukasa. Ronald is a motivational speaker, consultant, trainer, and business development professional. He has provided financial literacy and financial management training to corporate, government, and non-governmental institutions for over five years. Ronald is a certified public accountant and ACCA lecturer at MAT Uganda. He holds a bachelor's degree in development management from the London School of Economics and political science and a bachelor of statistics from Macquarie University. I get my chance to meet the judges. We had our first task. They did well because they were very happy to go into the field and try making money without money. Obviously from last season I think some of them were quite familiar on which direction to take. But as you know as you're about to ask them it takes teamwork. Did they work well together? And it's interesting because they chose themselves. We actually asked four teams to pick the rest of who would actually be in their teams. So everyone who's coming right here chose to work with the other. They made some money. I will hand it to you and I will bring in the first team. Team leader, you have five minutes to take us through what the activity was and then the panel of judges will ask you. It's over to you, thank you. The task was very precise and clear to us that go make money without money. We deliberated among ourselves. Finally, we came up with going to a washing car bay and with a washing of cars. And straight away, we went to the nearby clients who had parked their vehicles over there and we started selling the idea to them. They welcomed also. That's how we started washing cars in a place that was initially not a washing bay but just a car park. Can you tell me what exactly you thought about uh, to come to the conclusion that the monetary return for car washing was going to be better than all the other ideas that you had? If you want to venture into car washing, you realize that you can easily get 5,000 within 10 minutes compared to going out, look for scrap, basing on a kilo of scrap in the market. So. With this, we realize that the little resources you're going to involve in or put out car washing was very viable. Herbert, I need you to tell me something. What value do you bring to the team? I was in charge of uh, business development and marketing as well. Mm. So wh who of you participated in the washing, actually did the washing? Yes. Can we I have some you other members You just put up your hand and say, me, I washed. Mm. 
I washed. You washed? Yes. How many cars did you wash? I washed four cars. Okay. Farida, what did you do? The members said, like, for us men, it is not easy to get what? Clients. Women, you have the resources. And like men are weak when you try. What resources do you have, Farida, to convince? <laughs> the feminine touch. <laughs> so like, they're like, it is easier for you if you went with your voice as a woman and you start convincing those cars. Eh? How many did you convince? All the cars that came in Uganda Road, the 11 cars. So the smile worked? It, it really worked. Okay. So, yes. the men so, so I convinced all the cars and they kept coming. Another one was passing by. I was like, I only have 10 minutes to stay here. Then I'm like, don't worry. Give us those 10 minutes. We shall finish your time 10 minutes. So the, the team worked fast and I still went back on the road to get more cars. Um, Vicky, what did Mr. Okidi specifically do in this exercise? Because he is quiet and I'm just curious to know, what did he bring to the table? He, he was did. fully involved in washing because two of us can go and wash when you see them. How many cars did he wash? Me. Mr. Okidi. Okidi. Him. Yes. How many cars did he wash? Me. No, Mr. Okidi. Oh. He How many? No, I'm the asking you, the leader. Know. I okay. mean, what you, you, you take member? responsibility and yes, accountable uh, for all for your me members. I was overall, I was moving. I can start, I leave. I your role is well understood. Yes. I just want to know what did Mr. Okidi bring to the table in he terms of. He, cars is, washed. he was entirely washing and checking whether we are doing the rightful work and finishing cleaning the t uh, the wheels and those other parts. He was moving around and check checking. How would you compare his productivity to Herbert's productivity, for example? Uh, Herbert was out there to confinish and negotiate with the, those people. How no, in terms of give me some numbers. In terms of cars washed, how many cars did? How about wash compared to the number of cars that Mr. Okidi washed? All of them, they did the same work. Uh, Vicky, you're being a politician. No <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> Can we get yes. answers? Let's get uh, the comment from yes. him. Uh, thank you very much. I was uh, at the uh, washing point full time. In fact, mm -hmm. that is what I majorly did. And uh, it, it depends on the condition of the car. There were very dirty cars and those that were not very dirty. And we were really sharing responsibility. You just go once you finish, you go and support your friend. Some other person, after you finish yours, you come and clean. You just wipe to make it now dry well. So like we were engaged throughout to see that there is no gap. Because there were customers who would tell you, I want 15 minutes, my car washed. So there is no way you would leave one person. That is how we engage myself. I think the camera will reveal how we really exercise. So it sounds like you can't articulate who washed how many cars and who did what, yeah, right? Like myself, if I say four, I concentrated on four, but also I went to a number of even more than five. Too. Maybe when it is washed, I clean. I clean it. because If I we did an work. appraisal, you know an appraisal? Yes. When we're doing jobs, when you're facing a client and working and doing something for them, we appraise productivity. Yeah. Whom do you think is that person that will get the list? Really, members were committed. There was teamwork. Wherever the need is, they all come for it. And they were devoted. Rate your team out of a scale of 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the least for each of your members in the next two minutes so that we can have an understanding of the contribution of each member of the team to the success of this task. So over to you. Uh, well. You can start with yourself. Give yourself a seven, eight, ten out of ten, what, whichever number you want. Uh, for myself, I can give eight out, eight out of ten. Okay. Because I cannot be hundred percent perfect. Mm -hmm. I may somehow... Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of the members, like my immediate friend, I, I rated him the same, eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. And then on my right, Hubbard, on my left, mm. uh, Hubbard did a very good... Alfred. Uh, Alfred. You need to know your team members by yes, name by Alfred. now, okay? So. <laughs> yes, I know them. Mm. Alfred, uh, eight out of ten. Most of my clients, I rate them 8 out of 10. No, no, no. Please so be you're specific. saying you rate all of them 8 out of 10? Yes. All right. Let, okay. let, 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 me, let, let me put it this way. 
How much money did you set out to make in this assignment? The lady behind the chairperson. What was our target? Did you know what the target was? Our target was from 200 and above. So 200 was what you set out to do? Okay. Tim, power. Thank you, judges. The task was making money without money. We all agreed that we have to collect not less than 200,000 shillings. We planned the places where we were supposed to go, and we chose to go to three places, Wandegea, Natete, and Chiseng. Again, we agreed not to undermine any job. My first question is, uh, you said that your target was 200,000. Not less. Why 200,000? Why not 500? Why not 1 million? We wanted to set something that is achievable, something that is workable and realistic. I, I want to ask the following question to Joel. Mwagenzo wamusajja nanyini company, ya property. Naba gamba nti hayagala kula bika ku TV. Na naba we mitware etano. Atene echi lala, rachi te mwako zecho ne mukola sente nyingi. Nga manyo liya hayagala kula bika ku TV ne mchaji nga kakade. Kuhumu lala sobo rogenda. Na agenda wa ntuwa murundi gumu. Na ganti ziba mpade milioni ya sente. Na ingo lusa te apanze noli. Chite kiza tutuwa koze na amanyi. Mm. Kukula gachi chitukolachi. Chitukola. Okay. Tunuonya sente watali ichi. Watali sente. Mm. Kati guengacho ya person. What role did you bring? Nale sebuwe kati. Mm -hmm. Nengamba abantu panuka. Kamba wo mukisa. Mm -hmm. Nemba wo mukisa. Kuli sente ajetula gaku. Neno dati guoyo gira. Mwena watu tuwa genzu kula anga chite lede. Neka tituwa gatu tuke kuchisera. Uogaba max. Ntifu onogundi negundi ya koze wati. Onogundi negundi ya koze wati. Ngoogaba max kukumi. Mwenzira wano. Mm. Wano yaba demo wa magezi nyo. Afuna max meka kukumi. Zaga la nyomo titivi ya nyoti muwe nye jate muwe ntono. Mm -hmm. Nja muwa nya. Kakati kwa ogenda kuono, mm. ngabwe mumu laba msajia watu, mm. ya bade mkozi. Mm. Ati sagala mua ananyoti ya sinza ati ya kozechi, mm. na yeka agendine maksi satu. Satu, mm. ya yeah, funye satu. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. Omuami ono, kakati ye, nga uliriza bu uliriza, na ya ati nga akula, kamuwela maksi nya. Kakati ono, sija kuruwa u kamuomu kaka. Akati kangende kuona. Mm -hmm. Kakati ono kana ya gende kunya. Ya funye nya? E. Mm -hmm. Ono. Ngabu omula banamanyi akusitula na akusule. <laughs> <laughs> Kakati ono. Mm -hmm. Kangeze kwa mua maxi na yesi satu. Satu. Mm -hmm. mm. Maxi zonganzi. <laughs> kukumi. Kukumi. Zonyi njezi. Kukumi. Pia la bawa. Pia la bati nchidi ya nyo. E, te bati ya kolo. Pia la bafuna amanya ya kolo. <laughs> Kakati chukende kuonu. Mm. Kazi vera awele zori. Iza sose. Enya. E. Kati ategwe we wameka. Mm. Nzi. Alu na kuruwa bateru wange. Mm. Sija kwe nyoma. E. <laughs> mm. Kambe ya umokaga. Hei, <laughs> wewa nukaga. <laughs> Banani, mweba le nyo, mweba le kura sente, tuja badira echidako. Right, welcome back Team Kams and Team Power. Well, the good news is seven of you are staying with us. The bad news is there is a team which has to go home today. So we thank you for all the work you have done. You have done an excellent job. The amounts you have brought in, you have made money without money. But as you know, this is a competition. And there are eight investment clubs. And we know that one of them has to leave the competition today. Michael, how much money did we make? Both groups are brought in a whooping 481,000 shillings. Our team actually made 268,000 shillings. And team comes 2018, you made 213,000 shillings. So each of you 
represents an investment club. So the money will be split equally among your investment clubs and deposited onto your investment club account. So of the eight of you, I will mention six that are definitely safe. Two of you will stay behind, from which we'll choose the team that's going home. Vara Ward, you're safe. You're free to leave the room. The next team that is safe, Andy. <laughs> Kinasako, you're safe. Okay. Cape of Hope, you're safe. Skills Development, you are safe. And last but not least, Hakuna Muchezo, you're safe. As the judges deliberate, the investment clubs that did not do enough to make the team win quietly ponder and hope that the judges will give them a second chance. In one minute, each of you defend yourselves as to why you need to stay in the competition and not be sent home now. And I'll start off with Alpha and Omega. I personally participated fully from the beginning to the end, washing cars, cleaning it, and my colleague Alfred equally participated fully from the, in the two areas. Alfred, your team earlier failed to articulate what exact role you played and what contribution you made to the money that came to the table. Can we hear exactly what Alpha and Omega contributed out of the 213,000? Alpha and Omega contributed in providing labor directly in cleaning these vehicles from the beginning. How much money did you make out of the 213? The 210 Specifically, I washed myself, I washed four cars and supported washing another three cars with the colleagues. And Thank your you. colleague? And my colleague, uh, my colleague had a specialized area of cleaning to make it be clean and also uh, uh, washing the tires. That is the major area which he concentrated because it needed a bit of skills and with his seniority, he did his best and I think that encourage the customers. Okay. Thank you. Can we hear Thank from you. Yola Group? Thank you. Hi, Jess. Uh, basically, my defense to stay in the house will be based on two issues. One, we managed at least to reach a reasonable money as a group, of which our colleagues did not make it. So, from that point, I request the judges at least. So you are saying they made There's less no money. Than the team. <laughs> we want your individual contribution. So, it was a teamwork, and it, when you, you try to assess the performance at the ground, all of us, we participated. Mm -hmm. We worked as a team. So, Theory, you can't, of, you what, can't, of what, what significance? Is it you did? Of what significance was your to the group? That's what I want to hear. On, in every team, in everything that we do, you have to bring something to that team. Yeah. There's a reason why you're in that team. Yeah. So we want specifics. When we reached Mopi, the property agents, I participated and my colleague also participated. By so doing, the worker was participatory. May I, which idea did you bring to the team? One, during the planning meeting, we sat all of us. And the, we had Kisenyi, Nkulosi, Natete, and one mm -hmm. So I, during, I proposed to, I seconded to go to Natete for industrial, where there's so many industries. Uh, thank you very much. We would like you to please step aside. We'll call you in after just a few minutes as we deliberate. The judges have made their decision and summon the anxious contestants back into the boardroom. Welcome back. It's a tough one. But that, the, the tough moments are only, not only for you, but also for the judges. And after careful, detailed analysis of, of who should go home and who should stay, the judges have made a decision. 
I'll start with Alpha and Omega. You're both Alfreds, right? Alfred Akena, you seem to be very passionate. Not seem, you bring passion. You bring detail. You understand the process. The other Alfred is a bit laid back, maybe out of personality. In your group, you brought in, of the two groups, you brought in the least money, 213,000. While Yolwa brought in 268,000. The rules of the engagement were the group that comes in with the least money, one of the investment club has to go home. Having said that, Yolwa, you belong to a group that brought in a little bit more than comes. However, the judges are saying that you are the weakest link in your group, but also in the overall of all the investment clubs that we've looked at. On that note, the rules of the engagement is what we're going to go with. And Alpha and Omega, unfortunately, this is the end of the journey. We would have wanted very much to keep you if it weren't the rules of the engagement. However, at the end of the day, we have to follow that and respect that. This is the end of the road for Alpha and Omega Investment Club. Their hopes of winning 30 million shillings have vanished into thin air. Making money does not mean any age. You can make money at an early age or at an old age. I have I've run out of words. I know God is with me. And skills development, we are going to move on to the next level and we continue like that up to the end. Tulira bulonji nyo, ya tukera kongera mjia nambe mu. Chetuka kasa, nechi fe chuso kacha fe, kuwa fe wakuna mchezo. The amount of money is at, that is at stake is quite an amount and we are really determined to take it and as well invest and uh, impact on the society and the economy as, as a whole. Yeah.